first of all, I've got a, a, one television station <laughs> that is entirely devoted to uh, uh, attacking my administration. Uh, I mean, you know, that's a pretty... I assume you're that, talking about Fox. Well, that's a, that's a pretty big megaphone. Uh, and you'd be hard-pressed if you watched the entire day to... Uh, uh, to, to find uh, a positive story about me on that front. Um, there had to be a reason. He's too smart to just throw that out off the cuff. Um, Morris thinks that he wants the American people to think that he's having a hard time in the media. I found that hard to believe because everybody knows the media loves him. What do you think it is? I, I, I don't think it's very complicated, frankly. I think what he said about Fox is a typical typical liberal reaction to Fox News. Fox News is the boogeyman that haunts liberals and I think part of it was just that. I do think it gets a little more complicated when, and I think you hit it on the head with the psychological factor. He's a very sensitive guy yes. and he's not used to criticism. But, but there are two points I'd like to make, Bill. One is that he's wrong. There are liberals uh, and democratic strategists on this network all day long. He's right to the extent that there are a couple of people, very few, but a couple of people on this network who suffer from Obama derangement syndrome. They won't give Obama a break under any circumstances, but they are very, very few. So what I find most interesting about this, besides the fact that he's factually wrong when he says you could tune in day or night and there won't be anything good said about him, what I find interesting is that he's got 90 some odd percent of the mainstream media to use the title of my book, who have a slobbering love affair with him. The editor, as you rightly said, of the San Francisco Chronicle, Phil Bronstein, somebody I've interviewed, and he's a good guy, he's a straight shooter for the most part, who said the love affair is so obvious that these two ought to get a room, the mainstream media and Obama. So what I would say to the president, if he were listening tonight, I'd say, Mr. President, you have 95% of the mainstream media on a poodle leash. And, and they're very happy to be there, Mr. President. That ought to be enough for you. Yeah, that, that but ought to I think there's something in the background. Maybe it is the he doesn't want the American people to think that, what you just said. I don't know. But I think there might be something else that we're all missing here, some kind of message that he's sending. And I don't know really what it is. Because I told him face to face when I interviewed him last September, look, if you have a beef with me, or if you have a beef with anybody at Fox, you feel you're being untreated unfairly, Senator, he was a senator at that time, you come, you have your guys, you don't have to do it, you're too busy, but you have your guys call me. And I will look at it, and, and we'd be more than happy to put on anybody at any time. You know, I don't like this whining when you have access. He has total access to us. And we invited, that, you know, uh, uh, Axel Rod and anybody else on, and they, 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 they'll go on a network like he went on yesterday with it, nobody watches. But he won't, they won't come on. I think, you but know what no. I think it is? It just popped into my mind, Bernie, and I want you to react to this. Fox News' ratings are so overwhelming now. They are so big now. And he, and he said it. That's a big megaphone. That I think they're a little bit worried in the White House that we are doing so, bad, so well while CNN and NBC on cable are doing so poorly. Couple that with a poll that just came out this week that says 40% of the American people identify themselves as conservatives. Only half that number identify themselves as liberals. That's a Gallup He poll. may in fact, Bill, right. a Gallup poll, yeah. He, he may in fact be, be concerned that what if this stuff that they hear on Fox catches on? Yeah, so it's a resonate. Wait a second. But you yeah, see, the stuff they hear on Fox 